Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create our logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as logo animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to, 5 seconds, remaining everything will be the same. Now let's create a new solid. This will be our background layer. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to the background layer. Set start and end ramp position as shown. Set ramp shape to, radial ramp, now set the start and end color as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to background layer. Set amount of noise to, 5%. Now from project panel, add the logo to the timeline. Here I will scale my logo, you can scale your logo if needed. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attributes into new composition. Now for this logo composition, in effects and preset, search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Add it to the logo composition. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline, create keyframe for center. Now position the center as shown. Go to end of the timeline. Change center position as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now set amount to 90. Change zoom to brightest. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to logo composition. Set fill color to black. Now in effects and preset, search for CC composite. Add it to the logo composition. Uncheck RGB only. From project panel, add the logo composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add Vegas to logo composition. For Vegas, in image contour, change channel to, alpha. Change segment to, 1. In rendering, change blend mode to transparent. Set width to, 5. Here you can set the outline color, or you can add fill effect later on. Set hardness to, 1. Set midpoint opacity to, 1. Change end opacity to, 1. Change midpoint opacity to, 1. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to logo composition. Now set the outline color for fill, as shown. For both logo compositions, let's change them to 3D. In material option, change cast shadow to, on. Now from the project panel, let's add the reflection media file to the timeline. Scale reflection file to, 
50%. Now for this reflection, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the reflection media. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, change tile center as shown. Select mirror edges. Perfect, now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur. Add it to the reflection layer. Set blurriness to 80. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this reflection layer. Name it as reflection. For this reflection composition. Change mode to hard light. Set opacity to 30%. From project panel, add the logo composition to the timeline. For reflection, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Place it above. Now here, for Vegas, we will set width to 3. Let's remove this fill effect. Now in effects and preset. Search for CC Light Sweep. Add it to the logo composition. For Light Sweep at start of the timeline, create keyframe for direction, set direction to 0 degrees. Now at end of the timeline, set direction to minus 180 degrees. For light sweep, set width to 80. Set edge thickness to 2. Now select the reflection and logo composition. Let's create duplicate. Place them above. For reflection composition, change mode to add. You can see the preview. Now for this logo composition. We will add the Vegas effect. You can add it from effects and control or, you can copy from other logo composition and paste it. Now select the reflection and logo composition, again create duplicate. For logo composition, remove this Vegas effect. Perfect. Now we will change all the compositions to 3D. Let's create a new camera. Now create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position, at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Increase position value as shown. Now at start of the timeline, increase position value as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now slightly adjust the speed graph as shown. Now again create a null object. Change it to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2, press P to bring up position. At 2 seconds create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline, change position value as shown. Perfect. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease.
perfect. Now let's create a new light. Make sure light type is set to spotlight. Set intensity to 140%. Cone angle to 60 degrees. Cone feather to 100%. Select cast shadow. Shadow diffusion to 100. Here we will adjust the spotlight position. For spotlight press P to bring up position. At near about 4 seconds and 15 frames, create keyframe for position, increase the spotlight distance as shown. Now at start of the timer line, slightly adjust position. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames, we will create keyframe for point of interest. Now at start, adjust the point of interest value as shown. You can see the light effect. Here you can freely make any changes of your choice for spotlight animation. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as frame. Make sure color is set to black. Double click on rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1. Change path. Set unit to percent of source. Change top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our clean 3D glossy logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week, with another awesome tutorial.